Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video tutorial for you today that'll show you how to make a CV in Canva. Just before I get into it, once you've seen this video and if you want to give this a go, you can hit the link in the description for the video and that'll take you straight to a free version of Canva which you can try out yourself and see what it's all about. But these days I'd imagine that your CV is something that you'd want to stand out. Uh, whoever you're sending the CV to is going to be inundated with CVs. They're going to be reading a lot of these things. So to make yours visually appealing is definitely a very good idea. And I definitely recommend utilizing something like Canva to make that CV easily visually appealing. It's a template-based platform, so you don't have to make anything from scratch, which would be a bit silly to do so in something like this. And as you can see um, on the home page, you've got the search bar. And if I just typed in the word uh, CV, for example, or obviously the American word for it would be resume and in different countries is kind of referred to as different things. Uh, but in Britain, for example, I know that it's, it's never referred to as a resume. However, I'm sure stuff would come up. I wonder what would happen if I hit CV. Yeah, they do look quite a different. Um, so bear that in mind wherever you're from. I kind of like the resume templates a little bit better by the at, at first glance, to be honest. These can definitely look more British and boring. So if you go for resume, you'll definitely get something a little bit more flashy. And you can see that some of them are appearing here as well. And you can see that, you know, there's a bunch of different resumes here. Then if you're on the free version, you can see I'm on the pro version. So if you're on the free version, use this little filter on the left hand side and filter out just the free templates, okay? So if you see a little crown over the bottom right of a template, that means it's only available if you're on the pro version, which is free to try, but make sure that you're sort of um, not wasting your time. So basically what you need to do is find a CV or a resume that you like the look of. It doesn't matter if it's got a picture of someone else in there and some irrelevant things that you don't need. It is very, very easy and quick to modify one of these templates to easily become your CV, literally in a couple of mouse clicks. So if, for example, I like this one because it's black and yellow, kind of looks like a danger sign. So then I click that and then just hit customize the template and then that opens the browser where I can see, you know, everything is like an editable object. So for example, this object of this person here, I could delete that, I could select it and then just hit backspace on my keyboard. And then if you went to, you know, upload your own images or anything like that, I'll just chuck this logo in, for example, and you can see just I checked it in and it automatically uh, switched to the perfect size for that frame there that was set for it. So that could be a picture of you, for example, and then literally, you know, everything in there, you just double click the text and you can start typing in there like that, for example, and replace all of these sections and, you know, different things with whatever is relevant to you and your resume. And it is, you know, literally that simple. You could replace that. That's there as an editable text as well, that little signature at the bottom. And, it, you know, it's very easy to kind of see how, you know, quickly that could become yours. Once you've completed it and you've replaced all the information with your own and you're happy with it, you can, if you wanted to, you could kind of duplicate sections and add more text sections and things like that. Um, but once you are happy with it, you then click share in the top right hand corner and then download. The vast majority of the time you're going to want this as a PDF so you can email it to people or attach it to some kind of job application. So bring it down as a PDF. You can bring it down as an image, um, but you know, it's probably going to be a PDF and then just hit download and that'll bring it down as a digital file on whatever device that you're using. Um, if you're on a mobile, then you can utilize the app to access this, bring it down as a PDF on your mobile if you want to email it to someone like that. So it's very efficient. You don't even have to kind of store it on the cloud anywhere because you can access Canva from anywhere, even on a little mobile device. And then you'll be able to access this CV and send it to people straight out the app, basically. And that concludes the video tutorial. So if you want to give this a go now and make your CV in Canva, click that link in the description below. And if you want to see more content of this nature and you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or queries or suggestions for future videos, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.